Yeah, so today was some pretty cool, exciting news for iPhone users. You can now pair Android Wear with your iPhone. Now that's actually pretty exciting for a number of reasons. One, if you're not digging the Apple Watch, you now have options, you now have choices. You now have watches that look like watches, not these little overly priced, expensive, childish looking toys like the Apple Watch. Anyways, rant off in that rant. Let's get on into this. I want to show you actually how to get this going. The first thing you'll need to do is factor reset your Moto 360 or whatever that you're using. While it's doing that, you can go to the App Store and download Android Wear in the iTunes App Store. Once you get that going, we'll go through the normal process. If you're actually familiar with doing this with Android, it shouldn't really be that much more difficult for you. But I know I got some iPhone users watching now, so I might need to just kind of, I don't know, maybe like a better term, dumb it down for them. I'm just kidding with you guys. All right, so let's go ahead and get on into this. Okay, I have a watch. Let's press that button. Let's hit accept. Let's enable Bluetooth. Okay, enable. Okay, go to settings. Goodness gracious. All right, it's turned on now. Let's go back, double tap. Can't hit the back button. No back button on iPhones. All right, Android Wear would like to make data available to nearby Bluetooth devices when you're not using the app. Okay. So we got Moto 360, got the device number. Let's tap it. Okay, so we got a little code we gotta put in. And hit pair. So it's pairing, so just give it a second and we should start to see the setup process on the Moto 360. And it's updating. This is pretty cool guys, I gotta admit it. It's a huge, almost I would say game changer for Android Wear to make it available for iOS users. So this actually looks a lot like what you're used to seeing with Android Wear. And I'm just going to skip that. And it's just a little tour of what Android Wear can do. Let's go ahead and hit continue. Alright, so the watch is all set up. Continue as Joshua Bain. Yep. Yes, I'm into Google now, of course. Turn on watch notifications. Hit allow. Alright, enable location. Yes. Enable calendar. So many questions. <laughs> All right, go into the watch now. It's your normal watch setup if you're used to setting up Android Wear, like on the Moto 360. Just kind of go through this little tour here. Seems like it takes forever each time that you got to do it. Just keep on swiping away. All right, come on, almost there. Oh goodness. Oh my wife, she doesn't clear any notifications. I'll be here forever. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm like OCD by notifications. I can't have anything shown. Oh wow. Come <laughs> We're finally to the normal screen. Back on the iPhone, this is what the app looks like. If this is your first time ever seeing it, you'll get to see a lot of different options that you can do. One of the first things you'll want to do is obviously you set up your watch faces. These are the ones that come like standard on the Moto 360 itself. Depending on the watch that you're pairing it up with, it'll have different watch faces. But you can go down here and click that, then you got some more watch faces to choose from. So for now, we'll just click that one to install it, basically just to show you what it looks like and how to get it done. And of course, it's going to take its time to do so. Of course, you can actually go to the watch itself and just long press this and just kind of swap over whatever style that you want. Like if you like this one more, you can just add that one just from the watch or <laughs> wait for more to download. While that's downloading, like freaking creeping along, let's actually try something out real quick. I want to send a notification to this watch. And if you're curious, this is the OnePlus 2. All right, so I'm typing a message saying testing. I'm going to send it, see what happens. All right, so that's pretty cool. And it looks like it's just going to be a notification hub for at least Hangouts. You can't reply to it. You can choose to block it if you want to. Or you can hide it away. Swipe it back up. Let's try something else. All right, now I'm going to send an actual text message, an SMS message, and see how it replies. 
All right, so it came through the iPhone. Now waiting for it to come through the watch. Uh-oh. There we go. Okay, so there it is. It came through. Let's see what we can do with it. Yep, it's just going to be pretty much just a notification hub at the moment. So we can actually touch this to get that new watch face that we just installed. We got Moto Body, and there's that watch face. So there it is. That's how it works. So you can install that watch face from the watch face itself, or you can go back to the phone, and tap it here, and it's you know it's there. You can uninstall it and things like that. So that's how you get those going. But yeah, that's pretty much it. There's not too much else. Like I said, it's going to be like a notification hub more than anything right now. I'm sure more functionality will come along as time progresses and more development goes into it. But this is awesome. This is really cool that it's actually enabled on Android Wear. If you want more details, I have a link down in the description if you want to check it out over at the website. Android Wear on the iPhone. We knew it was coming someday. We knew there was a lot of rumors about the Moto 360 getting the support. But for Android Wear itself to get it, that's just pretty awesome to me. Like I said, this is just a very cool upgrade. It's going to give iPhone users a lot more choices as far as a smartwatch goes. Let me know down in the comments if this is something that kind of changes the game for you. If you were considering getting a smartwatch, there's a lot more choices with Android Wear. I'm just telling you, Apple Watch, it's expensive, looks like a little toy. You could get something that looks like a real watch. Anyways, let me know what you think down in the comments. And as always, stay techy. Time to go wash my hands now from touching that thing.